Richard, bring the car down. I have left out of here. Now, that car. I told you about coming in there, stealing whiskey off the bar every time somebody turned his back. I you did steal the whiskey. If I catch you in there again, I'll kick your teeth off. One by one. No, you won't. No, I what? I said, yes, you will. <laughs> Listen, I'm a bad bean from Boston, and I was born with boxing gloves on. Yeah, and you keep messing with me, and you're going to die the same way, too. <laughs> Come telling me he's a bad bean from Boston. And I get through with him, he'll be a has bean from Boston. <laughs> I'll go back and pick up his job. Getting mad because I won't buy no drinks. It ain't no use of me buying when everybody else is buying. <laughs> I ain't been buying no liquor and I ain't gonna start it now. I'm going to keep on drinking to everybody's health until I ruin my own. <laughs> yeah, he comes grabbing me in the car. Well, he won't grab nobody else because I'm going back and relieve him of his gravels. That's what I'm on. <laughs> yeah, I break up his joint. Yeah, I break it up. I stick a Maxfield joint for the child to the ground. I run him out of town. Run him out of town? I run him as long as he can find something to step on. He's gonna tell me something, you like him. I don't know. I'll go back and run him out of town. That's right. I'll go back and run him out of town. Well, I ain't going back today, but I'm gonna try to make it tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow at 2 o'clock, I'm going on home and get me some sleep. I got to get off the street because I don't want my pastor to see me like this. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be so careful these days because people are so quick to scandalize your name. And I don't think my name was saying in the most scandalized. <laughs> so I'm going to get on in the house and get me some seats. That's what I need. I'll get on in the house. I'll collect my bill. I better make up. <laughs> well, you know, that's a shame. I know I ain't drunk. Just that whiskey is heavy, that's all. <laughs> they ought to stop people from drinking whiskey in the hand. Get drunk and it makes you act so calm. <laughs> and I know I ain't common because I've got some class I ain't never used yet. <laughs> He's going to tell me something about Green Willow Street. And I know about that street. I got like told boy last like that night. Yeah. It ain't no <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'll get in the house here and wake up everybody so I can go to sleep. That's the way I do that. I, 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 I see him. I don't mean I see him. Ah, uh, open the door, Richard. <laughs> That's the boy room. Now, what's the matter with you? Richard! <laughs> I know he ain't going out nowhere because I got on the clothes. Oh, what's the matter with him? Hey, open the door, Richard! Now that's the reason I don't like the room with nobody. He don't want to open the door for me. And I owe just as much rent up there as he do. <laughs> I think I'm going to move next Saturday because this old woman, she charging too much rent in her hand. $3 a month. Yeah, and got the nerve to be mad because we're 11 months in the rear. Why, she come asking me this morning, she said, when you boys want to give me some of my back rent? I just told her, she loves her, she's in the front rent. Oh, why don't I tell my door, right there? <laughs> then she come asking me, when is I'm going to work? And I ain't thinking about no work. I don't want no job. I'm going back on relief Monday. I was going to leave last summer, but I don't know. They got short of help, and they couldn't send your checks out, and you had to go get them and all that, so I put it down. I was... <laughs> <laughs> what you got to do about the door, right there? <laughs> I don't think he's going to do nothing. But I get in, so I go around through the back, and I come around through the alley. I don't need no Richard Dome, no stuff. 
I just didn't want to be walking in no dark alleys this time of night. <laughs> Go up walking in an alley and somebody stick me up. I got to get it hurt because I has nothing to offer. <laughs> <laughs> but I get on in the house. After I get a little sleep, I know how to do it. Yeah, like I told you. Now, you know, I ain't never drank no whiskey before that won't let you go nowhere. <laughs> Here, here's another thing. You keep this light out of that barn. You stay out, too. I ain't bring no light. You just bring the light in there. I don't care who brought the light in there. You keep it out. Yes. Okay, you tell me it's all right with me. We about to keep it out. Did you tell about playing the kitchen when it's giving half out of whiskey? Did you tell me that? Did you tell me that? Come on, give me a dress. Uh, what did you do in paint no kitchen? What did you do with the paint I yeah, had in that bottle? Who was it? What did you do with the paint I had in that bottle? Hey. Was that paint in that bottle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you should have told me so that. <laughs> you put paint in a whiskey bottle and set it in front of me? <laughs> Uh, give me some paint remover then, I'll drink that. <laughs> yeah, come on, give me Listen, that. Listen, why don't you get yourself a job and go to work? No, you... you, you uh, like that? <laughs> why don't you get yourself a job and go to work? Me? Go to work? Son, you know me for a million days, didn't you? You ever know me to work? You ever know anybody to know to work? <laughs> Well, coincidentally, did you ever know anybody that knows somebody that found out have ideas where I was? Well, don't worry, you won't. <laughs> Man, you are impossible. I don't care what I am, I ain't tired. <laughs> you gonna tell me how to live. Just like I told him that, just... I ain't just, um... Now, this old woman crossed the street. She sees everything that happens in the neighborhood. Look at her. Now, she done five years and she done called her sister to the wonderful witness. She wants to make sure this is me. She keep on at the sister. Ain't that me? Ain't that me? Yes, this is me. I'm drunk again. <laughs> well, I just hope she said something about me in the meeting, Sunday. And I'll have a whole family thrown out to me. Her husband come out there last Sunday. He was so inebriated. Inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> when he got on his knees to pray, he went to sleep. <laughs> I had to sober up right quick and pray for him. <laughs> I ain't got no time to be praying for nobody. I've got my own soul to stir alive. <laughs> but I'm glad he threw his whole letter out. Y'all take me on in the house and get a little sleep. That's what I got. Don't let go, Ricky. Ah, don't let go. Ah, I don't want you to know, though. I don't want you to do nothing. I take my ladder and climb up on the I don't need no reason. He wants somebody to beg him to go. No. I get in by myself. I don't think he's going to scare me. I get in by myself. Hey, man, I, I climb up on the trash. Yeah, he's out of here. I'm out of here. My life, I live my life with myself. I don't need to tell me. I didn't know. I live my life. I get in. I better mean I get in. I'm coming on up there, Richard. I don't need to look at I don't need nobody to tell me. I live my life. I don't think I'm going to be here long, Richard. I didn't know. I know I'm high, but Georgia Pine. <laughs> but it ain't no use of being too high, though. <laughs> but I'd get in, though. I better, man, I'd get in. I'd climb up on the south, but I didn't know she was going to tell me that. I didn't know how to live my life. I better, man, I was going to tell me that. I'd get in. I, I don't need Richard. Oh, why don't you have my toe, Richard?